Hello and welcome to the fifth video in this introduction to network, neural network series. So this video then we're going to get the bird onto the screen and every time we hit space the bird will jump. I've made a little bit of a start on this. Uh, I've added a new file to our files. So we had defs main and pipe. We've now got bird.py and you can see that I've already imported pi game random and defs. First thing I want to do as ever is add some definitions. So I'll just scroll down a little bit here and I'll paste these definitions in. You can find them on GitHub or type them in now, press pause and just explain what they are. The file name should be fairly clear. We've used that for pipe already. So bird start speed is when we hit to jump or to flap, we need a speed of which the bird is going upwards. That's going to be minus 0 0.32. We've got the X and the Y positions for the start positions of the bird. Um, just like the pipe moving or stopped, we've got bird alive and bird dead. And then we've got a gravitational acceleration of 0 0.001 which is the gravity effect that drags the bird in a downward direction when we don't uh, we don't skip. So with those definitions added, then we can go into bird.py and start building our bird class. This is going to be a similar class to the pipe class. I can go fairly quickly through this, I think. Um, it shouldn't really be too foreign. There's just the moving, the skip and the jump part, maybe. Uh, apart from that, we can get through this fairly quickly. So let's get our class definition written. So that's the class defined and then the initial uh, or the initialization. So the constructor of the class defined. So we have our game display, our state, our bird is alive. Same as for the pipe, we have our image and our rect. So our rectangle uh, reference. What we also have for the bird is its actual speed. So its speed will determine how far it moves each time it's updated. You'll see that in a bit with the moving function. What is new is the amount of time this bird has lived. So when we come to actually understanding which generation or which bird has performed best when we start iterating and trying to learn, we need some way, some way of judging which the best birds are. And one part of that will be how long the bird has survived. And then the last function is the same as the pipe is set position, which we haven't actually defined yet. So we can also define the set position function. That's the, the same, in fact, I think, as the, uh, the pipe class. I'll just paste that in. And now we come to the first kind of new function. And this is move. And here we want to know how much to move the bird for the given delta time. And we need two things to come out of this. One is... Because the bird will jump upwards when it's moving, or it could be moving downwards, because gravity is having an effect, it's actually accelerating downwards if we haven't asked it to flap. And that means with each delta time, it gets a new speed, so its speed won't remain constant. And also, of course, depending on what the speed is, it will have moved a certain amount, either upwards or downwards, according to delta time. So how do we calculate this? Well, we're actually going to use the equations of motion, I guess you might remember them from school. It's about the only time I've ever used them after school was in doing things like this. But there's a couple that we're going to use with the distance traveled. So each time we move our bird, we want to know how far it's traveled to move it. And this here is with s equals ut plus half a t squared. That's the distance traveled is the initial speed times the time plus a half times the acceleration, which is our gravity times the time squared. We'll use this to understand how far the bird has moved. The other one we'll look at is the new speed, which is this v equals the initial speed plus the acceleration times time, and that will give us the new speed. Because we've got gravity pulling against the bird, when we flap, we initially go upwards, but if we don't flap again, then slowly but surely the speed will change into a, a negative and send us plummeting down towards the Earth. So we're going to use those two equations of motion and plug those into our code to calculate the new speed and the distance that the bird has moved. So first we'll define our distance and new speed variables. And now we can calculate the distance using the equation of motion, uh, s equals ut plus half at squared. So that there is s equals ut plus half at squared. And now we can do the u plus at, so speed plus acceleration times time to get the new speed the bird is moving as well.
Now we've got the distance moved, remember that will be in the y direction, we can move the rectangle of our bird just as we move the pipe. So we can say, so we move our center y by the calculated distance and we set the new speed. The only other thing I want to do is if we've hit the top of the screen is limit us to the top of the screen so we don't go off the top of the screen. And also we'll set the speed as well to zero if we have, if we hit the top of the screen. So that's all we need to do to move. Hopefully that's uh, pretty clear. If we don't then jump or anything, our speed will start changing according to gravity. And remember gravity in our case is positive because we're going down the screen. And as we go down, y increases and our speed that we set initially when we jump will be negative, meaning go up the screen. And in fact, that's what we're going to do is going to define a function now saying jump. So we'll call this function whenever we hit the space bar. Very straightforward, we just set our speed equal to the start speed. We need to be able to draw ourselves. This is exactly the same as in the, the pipe code. And now our bird, the, when it starts, is alive. We need to check if it's died. At the moment, the only way we'll have it dying is it goes off the bottom of the screen. So we'll write a check status function for that. So we simply say if the bottom of our rectangle is greater than the height of the display, so we've hit the floor, then the bird is dead and we'll print birdie died on the console just to make sure it's happening. And last but not least, the update function. And that's relatively simple. If our bird is alive, then we'll increment the time it's lived by delta time, and then we'll move it according to the move function that we've written. So it'll have a new position and a new speed. We'll draw it in its new position and then check whether we need to kill it off because it's, uh, it's hit the floor. So we've added in our definitions. We've added in our bird class. The only thing to do now is in the main.py is actually add a bird in there and have us hitting the space to make it jump. So in main.py, the first thing to do is add the import. And now below the creation of the pipes, I'm going to create a bird. And now I can update our bird down inside our game loop here. And remember, I want it to jump when I press space. So in here, if we have an event key down, we need to ask if the space has been pressed. There's a lot of documentation for Pygame Online describing all of the key presses and what the constants are called and things like that. Here we're saying if we're in the key down event and the key is a space, then let's make the bird jump, which sets then its upward speed. Otherwise, we'll quit. And that should be all we need. If I haven't made any big typing errors as uh, is possible, as you probably know by now, that should be all we need to do to add a bird to the screen, hit the space bar and get it to jump. So let's have a look at the uh, what it all looks like. Okay, so there were a couple of errors, which I'm sure you saw whilst you were typing out the code, but in the bird.py, I'd written IMG instead of image here, went too fast. And then also in the if self dot rect, I think I'd written dash top instead of dot top, which is pretty stupid. Uh, it's corrected now and it seems to be working. So let's have another go. Python space main dot pi. And now you can see the game has opened and I'm hitting space and the bird is jumping whenever I hit space. And if I just let the bird uh, die, I get birdie died and press any key and the game stops. You'll notice the collisions aren't working or anything. That's something we have to fix in the next video. But we're getting there now slowly. We've got uh, pipes on the screen. We've got a bird jumping and able to jump fairly realistically. Review some equations of motion. And uh, yeah, we can complete the collision and everything with the bird and get on with the actual neural net in the coming video. So thanks very much for watching and uh, comments, questions, welcome as always on YouTube.